How many people have a, a, a PIL box? <coughs> okay, more of you. More of you have that. That would be one way we were talking. I don't have one, but that would be one fairly e much easier way to get <coughs> new ROMs loaded onto this board. I think the price would probably come down if more people wanted one of these. It's like the PPC ROM. Started out at $95 and there was the curve as you could potentially do it. <coughs> it, it You're really desperate to get a ROM in there, you can always just key it in an hexadecimal. Yes, you could you could do that. <laughs> and I thought keying in the Dungeon of Doom was tough. Um, the availability, this said 12 months. He was waiting on a part that uh, he could not find that there was supposedly an 11 and a half month lead time to get it. Since then, I believe he has secured a, a source of those parts already. So I'm hoping that the timing will really, really speed up. Um, I mean, if it's if it's at two hundred fifty dollars, does anyone here think this might be something you would consider buying to do? That's about that's about ten, twelve, maybe. That's, that's more than I thought it might be. I think I think if if there is a way to get the RS two three two really out, that um, willingness to pay two fifty would go up significantly higher. I think you're right. The ability to, to update it continuously <laughs> without sending it in to you know, some some kind of Hopefully it won't be. Let me show you what the ROMs are that are located or built into this thing. Here's your list of ROMs that it comes with. Uh, the Advantage module, the Adventure modules, that's a new one that has all the adventure programs that were written for it. You know, you, you, if the cave feels cold, you know, whatever it says, that kind of thing. Uh, the AEC ROM. Newly developed alpha ROMs that have machine language codes to do anything and everything you ever wanted to do in alpha. Uh, you know the uh, HP Auto Start ROM, all the H, <coughs> all the formerly uh, sold application packs that are out there, the circuit analysis pack. Uh, you know the HP IL development. The I mean, just look at them all. This is this is the 70 plus ROMs. It includes some that were written just in the last couple of weeks. The fun stuff ROM. Uh, has all sorts of games in it. You have uh, a Trekkies ROM with all the Star Trek programs that were like ever written. Uh, the HP 41Z ROM for complex math. The PPC ROM. The PPC ROM is in there. Now the way you would you would get these in there. You see this next to it. You got the module and you've got a mnemonic. Each module he is assigning a unique four character identifier. And the functions in the the board look at the first and last character. The the two in the middle really don't matter. So the first and the last character. So if I wanted to plug in the Advantage Pack 1B into a port, I need to know A41P. But in fact, as long as I have A and a P in the fourth position, I don't think it really matters what that other one is. So I would put that in Alpha. I would decide which port I want it to be virtually assigned to. I would execute some of the new functions that are put in. It's uh, right there. You see plug. One, plug one L and plug one U. There are three <laughs> plug functions for each port. Plug one plugs in a ROM into the entire space of the port. One L puts it in the lower page. Uh, one U puts it in the upper page. The advantage ROM, I think, takes the whole port. And so you would put that four letter uh, abbreviation into alpha and execute plug one. And uh, when essentially you then enable the, the memory management unit, one little extra step to it, it now has the advantage ROM, the 41 thinks it is plugged in. You didn't have to go find it, didn't have to find it in a drawer someplace, uh, it's there. If you execute something in the advantage ROM and then decide, ah, oh, it's time for a Star Trek game, you go through the same process, it's already there, load it, I mean, every ROM that has ever been made for the 41 would be with you at all times. Like, I did not see the CX extended function. CX yeah, the, the, list, the list is not complete yet. This, the list is not complete yet. Okay. Uh, I, I went through the list yeah. and I looked on, we can say it here since we're not on the HP Museum, uh, hp41.org. Uh, and I looked at the list of all the ROMs there and I said, hey, what about this one? What about this one? The document's got a little out of sync because that changes all the time. And I think he just thought that maybe the CCD OS extensions wasn't needed if you had the CCD ROM. I said, well, listen, let's go ahead and do it, right? Because that takes 4K, and I can put something else in the other part of the port. Anything that will run up to the time he is making and, and setting these things up, he intends to include already on. Which brings me to my last point. An appeal for anyone who uh, has the ability to create ROM images, 
to do so now. My uh, apologies, I'll wait until the week after. No, not the week after. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it like that. Because in addition to all the ROMs, there's a lot of other software out there that it would be great. You never know when you might need it, but it would be great if you put it on there. It would be a lot easier if it was already on there when it was purchased. There's a huge library of solution books. Or, I mean, what is there, 30 of those? Something like that. It's a huge number that would be much better served if they were already put into ROM images or loaded onto this. Right? Chemical engineering, uh, high-level math, um, games, right? Because we always want to play, you know, the caves or the pinball wizard or something like that. That, those kind of things are out there, and so now would be the time in the next couple of months, uh, you know, before the election. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that. Kind of thing. <laughs> um, but just because it's a lot easier now. I mean, maybe if there's a good RS232 solution, it's possible. But I don't own a computer at my house that has a serial port. Which means I got to figure out some other way to do it and all that kind of stuff, right? So I don't know how many of you can do it by two hundred dollars. Then I got real expensive. I don't know how many of you can work on these, but I heard a lot of HP 41s were my favorite calculator or one I really liked. And so this I really think would be an ultimate HP 41. At two hundred fifty dollars, you bound to have some junk at your house that you could sell off and afford this. <laughs> if you sell it on eBay and have the money come to PayPal, your spouse never sees the money. Ooh. And all you did is turn, in her mind, perhaps, you know, some could junk into other junk. Could, could you speak into the microphone, please? <laughs> Hi, honey, I miss you. you know, kind of... um, do, yeah. do you know if, uh, if bank switching works? Well, for the 41, uh, the Advantage ROM to work, bank switching has to work, right? Because it's, it's got three, it's a 12K module. So you know that all the things we draw on that list, he has tested and they work. I don't know if he's. I don't know whether he's done all seventy or not. I really don't. But uh, he pulled some off because he knows they don't work. But that that would be a good next question. You know, have you physically tested this? <laughs> I'm hoping he'll have a, a production run or a, a pilot run of a few of these that some of us will be enthusiastic enough to go ahead and, and take the risk on and then help him test it out. A turbo mode at fifty times speed kicks up the count of the addition test from uh, a normal 41C does about a thousand additions in a minute and the 50 takes it well on up there. It's not a total 50 times speed for some reason but it's it's uh, he, he put that in the article I just don't remember what, what it is but it's it's 50, 50 times speed even makes the 41C not seem too pokey. Yeah but will the, will the goose fly backwards? <laughs> if you can make the goose fly backwards at 50 times speed, but like I said, I mean, these were questions and some of the things I asked. What things should I ask him next, or what should he? What, what, what would you like to know about this product that I haven't thought of? Does it need cooling? No, it does not need cooling. It's not, a, it's not an Apple G5 where it needs to be water cooled. <laughs> if RS-232 is on the board, how easy is it going to be for an average user to solder on? Is it going to require binoculars and a very, very fine soldering iron, or can the average user do it? Are you using binoculars? Do you use <laughs> are you staying way far back? Like, Isn't it just a board swap? No, no, yeah, he's talking, if the RS-232 would be if you want to communicate with it. It's a board swap, uh, but to attach the bender requires either it to come that way or for you to cut off the old bender and then solder the new one. Does he use the zero port to, to load it? I don't know how he loads it. There are commands, he says he's still working on the uh, to handle the RS-232 port. Since there's no existing way for the signals to exit the calculator, they may be rarely used, but who knows, he wants to provide them anyway. He has commands to set the baud rate. Uh, there also will be put and get commands to transfer individual bytes and block transfer commands, and he's open to suggestions for how they ought to work. Uh, those uh, the parts that he was back ordered on, the four level shifters, I bet you that's what those are for. Could be. Roger. What sort of battery power is going to take? Lead acid. <laughs> <laughs> just, just take your battery out of your car, take it in. I don't know what the battery. I don't know what the battery life is like. Uh, it's running a lot faster, but then again, it's a lot more efficient in some ways too. I think. He has a, he has a measurement on that um, on his webpage, 
And from what I, what I remember, it is actually remarkably low. So it's going to be at the same order of uh, having a 41 and plugging in minus MLDL 2000. Um, so you, you're not going to like experience it like, you know, better is today, new better is tomorrow kind of thing uh, at all. When you make a modification to add that small miniature RS-232 connector, you might as well solder in a little jack so you can take a 6 volt DC and run it, but that's a big issue. Yeah, because that's where we plugged in our cheater cords before. Yeah. He's got the holes in the cords. Yeah, I have uh, an HP 41CX here, which I salvaged out of a pressurized suitcase foam in to place permanently with a printer. And there were six wires neatly milled in the bottom lip that came out from the calculator into a shortwave transmitter receiver. And this was a weather station on a 41CX. So, I mean, it's very simple to go in there and just mill out a tiny little thing and then put a connector into it. Very simple. There's so much room in that case to, uh, to mill in something. The, the commands that he provides all start with a Y. Instead of X functions, these are Y functions. And so he's got things like, uh, you know, YM copy, which copies one 4K block of memory from one spot to another. Uh, y peak and Y poke, which read or write to a specific word in memory. I mean, all sorts of things. Is in, it, it's really an amazing piece of effort. You remember four or five years ago at San Jose, I think it was, he said, he, here, here's the replacement for the 41, and it was a block of code definitions. I remember we all laughed. Ah, that's funny, because it was like two pages long, and that was supposedly everything. Well, all he's done now is finally been able to implement that. And he, he says it took a lot longer than he thought. But it's very, very close. Very, very close. And I, I just see this as a way to really reinvigorate our old HP 41s. Uh, yeah, the non-normalized recall, that was one of the things that needed the most bad. I think things, some of the things like that are in some of these ROM images that will be loaded. Uh, all sorts of those. Uh, I mean, they, people have scoured, you know, all the old swap disks and everything for anything that was done in assembly language, machine language, and they put them into some ROMs. Now, you mentioned he had, he had implemented a variable tool. No, there is a ROM out there that has a variable tone. The command, it's on, I think it's on a couple of these ROMs, tone XY, which I don't know which one's which, but it's a, a certain frequency for a, a specified duration. But the, one of the functions that did not make it to the PPC ROM is actually on one of these ROMs that will be loaded on the board so that we'll be able to, to finally have, you know, a, a, a special, a special tone like that. 50 times the speed, you could probably get a lot more frequency. <laughs> Melodic, uh, one, one, one question of Melodic first. You had a question. I was wondering whether he needs to put in an old time module or whether we can simply extract the crystal, put it in the side of the uh, case. Because you have the time functions on one of the modules in there anyway. That's right. So you only need the crystal really. Uh, it's, it's a it's a it's a command that is turbo. Uh, I think it's turbo two or something. And turbo. Where was that? There you go. Uh, turbo two, turbo five, all the way up to turbo fifty. Uh, turbo X turns off turbo mode. It goes back to normal. Uh, and you can also have a test command turbo question mark returns the current value of the turbo mode into the X register. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 it's, it's quite e I mean, interesting. I think in the is it in on the disc or what? Did we put these things in the proceedings? I'm looking. I don't remember this. Yes. I think this article's in the proceedings, and there's a several hundred page technical more reference manual that describes all the assembly language instructions too. I mean, you know, wild stuff, right? So as you scroll down and you see the appendices, and that's where I start reading it. Any other questions on it? I just wanted to call attention to it, just like Jake wanted to call attention to Walter and, and, and Paul's water. Uh, the museum should talk about it over time, uh, so just keep your eyes open and, and save your pennies. Start selling off some of those old modules. I mean, just sell three or four modules and you probably cover the cost of this. You won't need the modules anymore. As you said, some of your wife's jewelry or whatever. <laughs> Monty is in California. Monty's in California. <laughs> All right, well, well, thanks. I just wanted to call attention to it. Thanks, everybody.